The universe, our vast and expanding home. You may not notice it, but every passing second dark energy drops everything away from us, until eventually nothing will be left. But how do we know about this? Our knowledge of the universe expansion begins with Einstein's fields equation, specifically with the cosmological constant, originally used by Einstein as a way to balance out gravity and get a static universe. However, a few years later, thanks to Lemaitre and Hubble, we realized that Einstein had made a mistake. Our universe is expanding, and the further something is, the faster it will move away from us. Hubble discovered that our universe was expanding by observing distant galaxies. Measuring how much their light wavelength drift shifted, Hubble was able to calculate the speed at which they were moving away from us. And thus, Hubble's law was born, and with it, Hubble's constant, a parameter that dictates the expansion of the universe and is at the heart of one cosmologist's biggest mysteries. As new measurements have been made, more uncertainty around the valley has arisen, suggesting a possible hole on our understanding of the universe. Cosmologists using Planck's telescope estimated the value to be around 6 to 7 kilometers per second faster every megaparsec during the early universe. This was done measuring the cosmic microwave backgrounds and isotropies using the standard model of cosmology. This model stems from the FRLW solutions to Einstein's field equations, which state that our universe is not only isotropic, but homogeneous as well. This means our universe is the same when looked at from different points of reference, on a macroscopic scale, kind of like this forest. Every tree is unique, but when looked from afar, it all looks the same. Nonetheless, recent late universe observations have created doubts around the model and its completeness. Physicists from Schuess say their value is 74, using data from the redshift of Cepheids and exploding supernovae. Similarly, Holy Cow's result put the constant at 73, using gravitational lensing and quasars to measure it, whilst researchers from the University of Chicago revealed a middling value of 69.8 by focusing on red giants instead of Cepheid candles, increasing the uncertainty even more. So, who's right? The truth is, probably no one is. More measurements need to be made and new factors need to be taken into account. Whether dark energy has changed over time or even a new kind of neutrino affected the early universe's growth, no one knows for sure. But that's just the beauty of science. Just like Hubble proved Einstein wrong all those years ago, our standard model may have some faults too. We're sitting on the verge of a big breakthrough in cosmology that could change the way we see our universe forever. Thanks for watching.